Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. In keeping with some of my recent videos on mobile installation, today I'm going to be showing you the MFJ4403 voltage conditioner. We'll get started right after this. For the webpage for the MFJ4403, they say it protects against reverse voltage, over voltage, voltage transient, and short circuits, super noise and ripple filtering, power supply buffering, and they say it lets you run a 100 watt SSB from your cigarette lighter. Okay, on the left, you have the reverse polarity light. This lets you know that it's charging, and do not turn on your radio until this yellow light goes off. This lets you know that the power is on and the power switch, in for on, out for off. Now for the manual, the reverse polarity protection, if you accidentally reverse your input voltage connection, you'll get the bright red reverse polarity LED. Transient suppression can help protect when you have startups, voltage spikes, and poorly regulated power supplies in your car. You're protected from short circuits with the input and output fuses. For noise and ripple filtering, a capacitor bank consisting of over four farads of ultra high value capacitors filter off virtually all power supply, noise, and ripple. On the back, you have your DC input and output, both set up with Anderson power poles. Now let's take this apart and see what's inside. Okay, on the right side, you have the input fuse, which can either be 15 or 25. It comes with a 15. And the output fuse, which is 25 amp only. These are just regular automotive blade type fuses. And up at the top, you have your six capacitor bank. Each one is 4.16 farad, giving you 24.96 farads or 25. The blue one is your charge relay. The silver is your power switch. I'm going to put this back together, take it out to the truck, hook it up to the cigarette lighter, and see if we can't make contact at 100 watts. Okay, I thought we'd give this a try from the truck. This is just a temporary setup since I haven't been driving it much. I took all the equipment out. So let's power on the 4403. And it says don't turn on the radio until the charging light has gone off. And that can take a minute or a little more. Okay, now the radio came on. Okay, you can see I've got the HF power set to 100. And we've got the power coming from the cigarette lighter. Let's see if we can make a contact. As this thing says, you can run 100 watts from a cigarette lighter. Yeah, Whiskey Juliet 6 Fox, Orange County. NPU, Whiskey Juliet 6 Fox, I'm hearing you fine. Oh, no worries. I really appreciate it. I'm hearing you just fine. You're coming into me loud and proud. I'm down here in Orange County. Really appreciate it. Thanks much. WJ6F. Yeah, we weren't able to make any additional contacts. But we were able to see that the MFJ4403 will in fact run a radio pushing 100 watts off of a cigarette lighter. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.